congratulations. Welcome to your dashboard. If this is the first time you're visiting smashusmle.com, I need to just show you how the course works. Because a lot of students, most of the time, when they sign up for the course, they might have a little trouble maybe navigating, even though we try to simplify the process for you. But hey, let's, let me show you exactly what you need to do and how this course is gonna take your study to the next level. We've got so much stuff packed for you to take your USMLE study to the next level. You're gonna love it. I'm gonna take the next couple minutes to show you exactly how our course works and how to navigate the course itself. This will make your studying easier because this is a self-paced program. The first thing I need you to do is read the free ebook, Insider Secrets to Scoring 260 on the USMLE. It's literally free. In that ebook, we show you step-by-step -step how to approach the USMLE. After you've read that Insider Secrets ebook, then watch the videos. Follow the step by step. Do not skip one step. You're gonna break my heart if you do that because do not underestimate any step. This stuff works, all right? Follow the step by step. Every video has a specific amount of information that you need to know and you need to implement. Once you have done that, then you can start to create your schedule, all right? Once you've created your schedule, then you begin studying. That's where the fun is, all right? I know you can't wait to start watching videos on endocarditis, atrial fibrillation, and all the fun stuff you gotta learn for the step one and step two CK exam, but hey, listen, doing those steps is what separates the good students from the great students. And here at Smash USMLE, we believe to fail to prepare is to prepare to fail. So we prepare your mind, your body, and your soul to get ready for this long marathon. And I promise you, if you follow the steps that we show you here, literally the five steps to your success on the USMLE, which is gonna make you a smart doctor, all right? Now you might think, what is a smart doctor? Well, smart doctors here follow a smart strategies, okay? It's known as the study strategy, which we teach you, which is S. M is mastery of information. A is assessment of clinical knowledge. And R is reviewing and T is test taking strategies for the exam day. If you do those five things I teach you in this course, I guarantee you, you are gonna crush this exam. It's gonna be easy breeze for you. Listen, I know you have a lot of anxiety, but if you don't deal with that test anxiety, you're gonna fail the USMLE exam. But I've got great news for you. I've got your back. Our team here at Smash USMLE are available 24-7 to answer your questions, you just shoot me an email personally to dradition at ftplectures.com and I will be on the phone to help you navigate and get you to coach you. If you're a part of this program, I promise you 100% satisfaction guarantee once you sign up for the course. Also, if you have depression, if you're worried, listen, I've been there. They told me I couldn't become a doctor. Let me tell you a quick story, okay? When I was in college, I had an advisor and I, I remember going to her and I said, ma'am, I want to be a doctor. I came from Nigeria and I want to come to America to become a doctor. And she laughed at me. She says, son, do you know anything about the American healthcare system? And I said, I don't know anything about the American healthcare system. If you're from another country, you probably can relate to this story. You come to this country and you just don't know anything about the American healthcare system. That is true. Don't worry. You need to just do it step by step. So I told her, ma'am, can you register me for the class first so that I can know what I need to do for me to be able to, you know, get the grades I need to get into medical school. I ended up becoming a, you know, top student in the school. I got 3.9 GPA before I graduated and I was on the dean's list. Now here's where the story takes a turn. I told her, listen, when I applied to medical school, do you think I have a chance? but I had a low MCAT score. My MCAT score was a 21. Can you believe that? I scored a 21 on the MCAT. Oh my goodness. Listen, it was a low score. I didn't fail, but I didn't get enough. If I scored a 27 or a 30, that would have made me a even better candidate. But I had a very solid GPA. She looked at my application. She said, son, I don't think you have a chance, but hey, go ahead and apply anyway. So I applied. I got rejected by 11 MD schools. 11, 11 rejections. And then I, I planned, when I applied to a DO school, an osteopathic medical school, because I wanted to be a doctor. When I applied, I got a phone call and say, Leke, you've gotten an interview. I was super pumped. I'm like, oh, thank you, Lord. I got one interview. And then I told my advisor, listen, um, I, I got an interview. She's like, it doesn't mean anything. 
I said, what are you talking about? I got one interview to one medical school. She's like, listen, I have another student here. This is three years she's been applying and she didn't get in. I've written her letters of recommendation three times and she didn't get into medical school. And I said, man, you're killing me. All right, but I kept my hopes up. I didn't give up. I remember going to one of the MD schools and I sat down with one of uh, the admission committee advisor and he said, he looked at my MCAT score and said, uh, you got a four on the verbal and four is a very low score. The max you can get is 11 back then. And he said, you got a four in the verbal? You don't have a chance to pass the USMLE exam. This is what he told me. He said, and this I'm quoting him verbatim. Studies have shown that students who score low on the MCAT have a high probability of failing the USMLE exam. And my heart literally dropped. He said, are you kidding me? The USMLE is a clinical exam. MCAT is testing on organic chemistry and sociology and all this stuff that doesn't freaking matter. And you're telling me, I said, okay. Uh, I, I remember walking out of his office that day. I didn't get into that medical school anyway. I got rejected. And my, my mentor told me, he said, listen, son, do you want to be a doctor or not? I said, I just want to be a doctor, sir. He said, okay, all right. I needed to apply to a DO school down in South Jersey. And, you know, you've got a good uh, balance of a good GPA. Your MCAT is just weak. But I, I needed to go down there and see if you got a chance. Anyway, cut the long story short. I got a call. I got an interview. I went to that interview. I prepared for it like my life depends on it. I invited my friend from college. He sat me down, taught me interview skills and you know how to keep eye to eye contact. I memorized all my lines. I had the right questions to ask and I went to that interview and killed it because I know all I need is one chance. Just give me a shot to get into medical school and I'm gonna show you what I'm prove. I'm gonna prove myself and show you what I'm made out of. I still remember to this day what they told me I cannot do. And you probably could relate to that. Guess what? I went back to my advisor, told her I had an interview. She still laughed at me, you don't have a chance. And then I got that phone call that said, hey, Lake, where are you? I said, I'm home. Well, I'm coming for the, calling from the admissions office here at the University of Medicine and Dentistry in New Jersey. Uh, we have offered you an admission into the class of 2008. I literally dropped crying to the ground. I can't believe all my hard work that's paid off. I literally was crying and rolling on the floor because I worked so hard, came all the way from Nigeria where people told me I couldn't become anything. I came to America, went to college, and eventually worked my butt off to get straight A's in college. I didn't do well on the MCAT. They told me I couldn't do it. I took the MCAT the second time. Got a 22. Wasn't high enough. But then somebody gave me a chance and then they gave me an acceptance. That is why you can see today right on my shirt, it says doctor, a delicate, additional, emergency medicine. And that's how I became a doctor, guys. That's why I created something that will last eternity. But hold on a second. Somebody gave me that chance because I was willing to prove myself. I put in my blood, sweat, and tears, but then I had to prove one more thing. I remember till today when that doctor told me, son, you can do well, you couldn't do well on the USMLE. And, and, I, and I said, I'm going to prove this guy wrong. I'm going to show him that I came from a country, we, we have so much grit, we have so much discipline, we don't give up on anything. And then I said, I went to an osteopathic medical school where all you have to take is the COMLEX exam. That's it. You don't have to take anything else. COMLEX 1, COMLEX 2 PE, COMLEX CE, and COMLEX 3. That's it. It's the equivalent of USMLE Step 1, Step 2, CK, CS, and Step 3. But guess what I did? I had to prove my doubters wrong. I literally had my first aid in my hand day one. And I started studying. I put in the work. I took step one. I scored 225.97 back then, two digit score. I took step two CK. I scored 229.99. This was back when I took my boards. Now there's no longer two digit scores. I took my COMLEX. I killed it. I took COMLEX one, COMLEX two, two COMLEX PE. I wrote a book when I was in medical school on how to study for the USML because I know hundreds and thousands of students just like you, they're going to be told the same thing. They're going to tell you can pass the USMLE. You do know how difficult it is, but I wanted to encourage you because I wanted to tell you the story about how this course was created. And I didn't stop there. I started making videos. I put them on YouTube. That was back in 2008 as a first year medical student on the brachial plexus. And he evolved and started making more. And I realized I had a talent and a gift of able to explain concepts in a way nobody else can explain it. Not even my professors can do it. 
because I had a way to simplify things for you in a way that all these medical jargons and all this medical knowledge can make some sense. And that's how I started making more videos. And eventually, I graduated medical school, matched into emergency medicine residence. While I was a resident, I was still making videos just for you so you can study. Because I looked back and I said, I want to give back to somebody else. I want you to be the next success story. And then I made those videos and those videos collection took me about six years to create all this video content. Went through page by page in first aid and then I added more people to my team and they helped me make more videos and our team got bigger and bigger and then we had more videos to you guys and create a full course content just for step one and step two CK. And then we didn't stop there. We went ahead and I hired a team of doctors, experts, who's taking USMLE step one and step two and step three and they started writing questions that you see that formed the step one and our step two CKQ bank today. And then I look back at my life and I said, when I was a college student, someone told me I could not get into medical school. I did it. Somebody told me I couldn't pass the MCAT. Yeah, I barely passed it, but I got into medical school because somebody gave me a chance. And then I tried again. I took my step one, step two CK, wrote a book. I'm not bragging, but I just wanted to show you that you have to be disciplined. You can't give up. And then I match into emergency medicine in my top three spots in the top three program that I wanted to go into. And I trained in emergency medicine for three years. And today I'm an attending physician, but I wanted to give back because I know you can relate to my story. You probably from your country and you are here probably living in a basement. You don't have any money, but you're looking to yourself like, man, I, I'm a doctor in my country. I'm an ophthalmologist. I'm a general surgeon in Russia, in Nigeria, in Ghana, in Botswana, in, in Italy. And I came to America and I just want a chance. Somebody just to give me one spot in a residency program. That's all you need guys. You just need one person to believe in you. But I need you to do me a favor. I need you to believe in yourself first because people are going to doubt you. They're going to say you can't do it. And I want to use this video to motivate you to get yourself together and say, listen, I have found a program that's going to motivate me to be the best version of myself because I know you're so smart. But you look around you, you see all these people that are telling you, oh, look at this dude, this guy came also from your country, he tried the USMLE two, three times, he didn't get in, and guess what? He's working at a gas station today. No, I want you to achieve your dream of becoming a doctor. I want to make a difference in the life of your patients. I know you've got it in you, and I'm going to motivate you to do it, because they told me I can't. And I'm super excited to welcome you to this program, because this is the difference maker. This is what separates people who want it so bad as, well as hard and as hard as they breathe than the people who just want to sell it for mediocrity. Who say, hey, listen, I've tried once and I've failed and I'm going to try again. No, what defines you is not who you are when you fall. What defines you is who you become when you stand up back again. And I don't want this USMLE exam to define you, dude. I don't want it to define you, girl. I know you've got it in you. That's why I made this video. I want you to get back up when you're tired, when you're exhausted. There were so many nights I felt depressed, guys. There were so many nights I was tired. There were so many nights I didn't feel like doing it. But then I look back at my doubters. I look at other people and my family and my, and my friends and my, and my parents and, and everyone around me that's looking up to me like, dude, we are counting on you to do it. You are the only person in our family, the first male to ever go to medical school to become a doctor. People are counting on you and I don't want you to give up. I don't want you to give in. No matter how tired you are, you should get back up again and again and again. Because fear is nothing. Fear is false evidence that appear real. I remember going back to my advisor's office and I showed her my admission letter. She almost dropped to the floor. She said, how did you do it? I want you to be able to say that to your friends and family and your doubters and tell them, yes, I did it. Today, I'm a doctor. It might take you a couple years, guys. It's a long road. All I told, all I'm about to tell you, it's not easy. I'm not saying it's going to be easy. All I can tell you is it's worth it. Period. If you haven't signed up for this course yet, listen, you have no idea what you're missing. This course literally will take your study to the next level. It will make you a better doctor. This is the best value you can ever put in yourself. Listen, this is what I always think about. You might say, oh, this is expensive. Becoming a doctor is an expensive process. Do you know what the average student loans an American medical graduate has before they become a doctor in America, 
It costs us an average between $200,000 to become a doctor. And guess what? That is even nothing. I have students that owe three fifty. dollars $400,000. They have student loans from college, from master's program, just to get an MD behind their name or a DO behind their name. So if you're only going to invest a short amount of time and money into this course, I got to tell you, it's worth it. And let me paint a bigger picture for you because sometimes students don't understand what we call value, right? Why would anyone invest the cost of a house? $200,000 is a lot of money. And then you go to class and most of the time, students are even studying on Wikipedia and YouTube anyway because they're not even going to the classes. And yet they're paying $90,000, $70,000 to go to class. You may not have done that. You may have come from an international medical school from the Caribbean. If you go to there, it's even more expensive. But if you can come from a different country where you don't spend that much money, maybe $6,000 to be able to get through education. But in America, it's very expensive. But what you're gonna be getting in this course is value. Value that's undiluted, pure information that's non-biased from an expert who has done it, what you're about to do. So if you're thinking, oh my God, I can't afford this. Listen, find the money, find the money. It literally is the best investment you can invest in yourself because no one, no one can invest anything in you except you do it yourself. And if somebody's going to call you doctor one day, you're gonna to have to put in the work on yourself. Find the money, sign up for the course, buy the course. This literally will take your study to the next level, but we just don't believe in you memorizing for the USMLE. That's not what we do here. Yes, we teach you strategies. Yes, we teach you how to study. Yes, we give you the content. But listen, what you're gonna learn will change and save somebody's life. It would save somebody's mother, somebody's father. They are counting on you. You're gonna walk into a room someday and say, hi, my name is Dr. Ben. And people are gonna look up, here comes the doctor. And they're gonna respect you. And the knowledge that you're gonna have learned from this course, you're gonna use it to save and recognize some pathology that you're gonna save somebody's life. That is a big deal. Not only that, they're gonna pay you a lot of money when you become a physician. An average doctor makes between $200,000 to almost $900,000 if you become a neurosurgeon. Even up to a million dollars. So if you, whatever, whatever amount of money you spend right now is peanuts compared to what you're gonna gain and the knowledge you're gonna have and those scores and those levels of recommendation you're gonna get and those clinical rotations, they're gonna mold you to become a physician. So see this as a value, a small investment today that will yield multiple results over a lifetime. You're gonna be making millions of dollars over the course of your lifetime, guys. Invest today, buy the course if you haven't bought it. And you've bought the course, I congratulate you. Just call me. I will help you. I'm dedicated to this because someone has told me I couldn't do this, but I wanted to share this with you because I know how valuable this is gonna change your life. All your stress, all your anxiety, all your worries, all your fears, I want you to put it to the side because I've got your back. And I'm here with my team to get you to your dream and make you the doctor you've always wanted to be so that you can be proud of yourself and your family can be proud of you because you came here and you did it while others failed. Because to have what you've never got, you have to do what you've never done. And that's what you're about to do right now. Start with step one. And I believe you can do it. Get ready for this course. Get ready to be motivated. Get ready to make your dreams come true because history only remembers the successful people in the world and the graveyard is full of failures. You are not a failure. You're better than that. Welcome to Smash USMLE. I cannot wait to work with you one-on-one. -on -one. Shoot me an email if you have any questions. Call my phone number if you, if you have any questions and I will help you. I am dedicated to your success. You have an awesome day. Welcome to Smash USMLE again. God bless.